it is sad to see the center go yes but as you guys know my previous story you guys already know i replaced the center with something it's actually fucking crazy make sure you guys go check my most recent instagram post and you'll see it there daddy jp is gonna speak very shortly again i tell you guys this all the time there is no need to get clapped especially if you've already made money in the morning i'm gonna chill i don't think i'm actually gonna trade fomc um i'm already up like seven thousand dollars on the day which is fantastic cool kept my position sizes small for this week there's a lot of volatility in the markets but there were some pretty good opportunities in the morning that i did unfortunately miss out on key lesson what can you take away from this instagram video when daddy jp speaks don't get clapped fx is right there to targets bro that boy jp really going crazy bro that's ridiculous bro unfortunately i didn't get the trade today but it's been a great day so far i'm glad we got on live we ended up calling a few trades and the trade that really played out for us today was spx shorts which was a huge move to the downside literally called the trade perfectly from point a to point b tons of people inside of dti made money which is fantastic some people ended up taking small l's on some nq longs which was made back very quickly the majority of those people made back that money very quickly uh, on those spx shorts and that's what trading is really about risk to reward and risk management other than that great day unfortunately i didn't personally get to trade it because my trading account wasn't set up by that time it was already a little bit too late but still a great day as long as people inside of uh, dti made money then i'm happy other than that bro i mean bro in the jacuzzi drinking a whatever the fuck that is bro but bro it's just vibes after not getting clapped by jp bro that's all that matters don't get too excited now with all the glizzies bro that's nah that's crazy bro that's actually crazy nah the glizzies are wild bro bro that's that's all it is right now 5k 5k today is crazy bro 5k today is crazy bro like it was just we the the patience the execution like this was just a perfect position a lot of you guys are asking me yo why are you getting rid of the senna and some of you guys are like damn bro we've had it for three months why are you getting rid of it and it's bro i can't afford it at least that's what the haters would say but you guys know that's not the case when did i ever get rid of something and not replace it i'm not going to tell you guys what it is obviously not even gonna tell you guys the price range not even gonna give you guys no hints but if i'm getting rid of the center which if you guys saw my youtube channel if i'm getting rid of the center and i'm investing that money into something better then bro of course it's gonna be absolutely insane i'm curious what are your guys' thoughts let me know what you guys think it is albert what do you think bro bro big upgrade from the center or nah there's nothing that tops this like that's it a jet all right, baby. You've seen a lot of my cars, right? What do you think about this one? I love it. Because you were sad it. to see the center go for a second. Yeah. What do you think about this replacement? Ash, <laughs> you, you already got the bottles to celebrate. What do you think? Only could be you. <laughs> it could only be you. <laughs> hey, Baka. What do you think? Because you've seen every car collection. We've hyped up every car. What do you think about this one specific? What do you got us listening to, bro? This is what you just put on. Bro, it's your phone. You took it. You just you're really listening. Let me see what you're listening to. Dude, who are you trying to show off? Yo. Nah, bro. Come on, bro. already got the rift exhaust for the sf90 once that's done i think it's time to get an exhaust for the center this has been too quiet for too long also thinking about wrapping this um bro i, I might reupholster these seats too but we'll see i kind of want to change up the spec to someone master walter so i low-key want to go like matte black so this thing in black would be insane especially matte black so this is how important trading psychology is and how the psychology can affect every single one of your trades so as you guys can see with the screenshot here i ended up going short on nq and i think i was floating around eleven thousand twelve thousand dollars in profit on the position that you guys can see on the screenshot 
Now, my targets on the day was 17,578. Yesterday, I missed out on a huge move. I could have made $50,000 on ES shorts, but it happened so late in the afternoon when I saw the entry signal. I'm like, bro, there's only three hours until the market closes. I'm not taking this position and price just dumps all the way to my target. So yesterday, I missed out on making roughly around like 50 Gs. Today, I actually executed on the short position. I had caught a small move earlier in the morning. I was up like $7,000. And today, I had actually executed and I'm up $11,000 as you guys could see. Bro, I closed the position early because I'm like, you know what? Mark conditions are pretty choppy. And I was already up like a two to one R multiple. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna close it. And I'm gonna secure like an $18,000, $20,000 day. Cool, not complaining about that. But I'm having an issue with these current market conditions and holding my trades for long. I don't know why, but I keep cutting my positions at like a two to one R multiple. So my targets was all the way down here at 17,578. I went short up here, got out around here, and then price just ran, which my initial plan on the trade was to get out down here. But because of yesterday and because of today, I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna secure, and there you go. You can already see how important trading psychology is and how trading psychology will affect all decisions that you make in the markets. I could have had a bigger day, but you know what? Still a profitable day. The first trade wasn't so great. It was probably a little bit over one to one or multiple, which it did get hit. My trailing stop loss did get hit. This trade was a lot better. I had a two to one or multiple. So I'm still up like 17 G's on the day. But bro, I mean, regardless of the fact, I did cut the position a little bit earlier than I wanted to. So right now I got to figure out a better trailing stop loss system. That's probably what I'm going to be doing for the majority uh, of the rest of today. I'm back working on DTI 3.0 content. Going to try and get all this done within the next few days, which we have some more sections coming to DTI uh, for DTI 3.0. The transfer should also almost be done as well, but I'm super excited for this. I cannot wait. Bro, this guy is a straight piece of work. He's got a McLaren parked in handicap. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. What a piece of work. pretty dope too i just found this i didn't even know i had this this is a picture of my old svj my old sto back at my old crib which is this is so sick i didn't even know i had this but bro these two cars together in the garage looked insane no trades today for me so far my manual trading but so far it's been a pretty great day a pretty great month two different portfolios and totaling roughly around like seventy three thousand dollars in profit Two different portfolios. That's fantastic. My personal manual trading results, as you guys saw in my story post earlier today, I ended up making $8,000 on some NQ shorts. Caught a super small move to the downside. Ended up closing my position and price ended up flying. For the algorithm today, as you guys could see, $6,000 worth of profit today. Yesterday, I also made $6,000 as well. And so far, it is up $48,000 for the year so far. Other than that, I mean, I got lucky with this one big position. So the algorithm manually sets uh, stop losses and take profits. This was one of the manual take profits that gets hit or that got hit on this trade, which is why it's such a large trade compared to the other ones. Because the other trades, I literally close all of them out manually once I'm pretty much satisfied. So the algorithm will automatically move its stop loss to break even. And after that, once I see the algorithm has moved the stop loss to break even and the position is risk free, it's basically up to my discretion. I typically try and follow like a one to one, one and a half, one to one and a, uh, one to one and a half. <laughs> risk to reward ratio uh, on the EA, but these are on the updated file. So you guys can go watch the tutorial on how to install that. It should be up later today, which 50K for the year so far with the EA is phenomenal. That's fucking fantastic. Yeah.